Warfare in the future may look very different from the battlefields of today. Unmanned vehicles, robots, and drones in the sky and sea will play a much larger role. The U.S. Navy showed off some of its future technology here in Washington. CCTV's Jim Spellman has our story. Four computers on board with 12 kilograms of batteries will let us operate for about an hour and a half. On display in Washington, D.C., the next generation of military technology created by science and technology, or s and researchers at the U.S. Navy. Come on in. Weapons and safety equipment meant to tackle some of the military's most challenging problems. The s and community should not be pursuing the things that are no-brainer, right? s and needs to be looking at those very hard problems. The main attraction, an electromagnetic rail gun. It uses electricity to create magnetic energy that does this. Launching a projectile at more than 7,200 kilometers per hour. Six times the speed of sound with a range of about 160 kilometers. The railgun will get its first test at sea in 2016. Also on display, robots. Well, this is Safer, a uh, full-size humanoid robot designed for firefighting for the U.S. Navy. It's a disaster response robot designed to help sailors in dangerous situations and be able to go into places where you wouldn't normally want to risk a human life. Its humanoid shape helps it maneuver through narrow boat passages designed to be used by people. In the future, unmanned vehicles, drones, will play an even bigger part in the U.S. military, in the skies, on the water, and below the seas. Unmanned helicopters like this can be flown using a simple tablet computer. Training is easy and takes only a few hours. The Navy calls these autonomous swarm boats, multiple boats acting together without a human operator. We can take multiple different entities and have them communicate and operate as a single entity if we so desire. Those spears, that's the ideal design for dealing with the ambient pressure in the ocean. Below the surface, underwater gliders can perform scientific and surveillance missions and may one day carry weapon systems, while another underwater drone appears familiar. It looks, swims, and even sounds like a fish making it a stealthy underwater asset. Fish are natural swimmers. They're very fast, they're very maneuverable, they're very efficient, right? So what could we extract from that to improve the performance of man-made underwater vehicles was really the point for the project. Navy officials hope to one day integrate all these systems together as warfare becomes more and more autonomous. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.